guys, welcome back. I just wanted to show you real quick how to make book snaps with Google Drawing. So naturally you're gonna go into your Google Drive, um, select more here and Google Drawing. This time we're going to take a snapshot. So you're gonna to go to insert image, take a snapshot. You wanna click allow here. Close the window. Drawing, so I just crop it. Typically I just crop it. I do like my image to take up most of the, the book snap. So I just stretch it. It looks a little wonky, but it's okay. You do want to make sure, like if you're making a custom sticker, I recommend that students make sure they have the title and the authors down there at the bottom. Now there's a there's a couple of cool things you could do. One, um, I like to change the background too, so I typically just right click in this open space, change the background. I personally like a black one. From here, you're going to want to insert text. So the, a couple of things that I always make sure to tell students to insert is you want to insert the title of the book and also the authors, which I just mentioned. However, if you make a custom sticker, the job is done for you. It's a little different. Um, a lot of times we will annotate exactly what we're, we're wanting them to see. If you wanted to, you could always use the drawing app um, here and you could just highlight the pieces that you like, or you can create a visual digital representation, which is personally what I like to do. So I'm just gonna pull um, image, I'm gonna to go to search this time instead of taking a snapshot. If you wanna add your Bitmoji in, I think that's kind of a, this would be a fun time to do that. You can add a Google Chrome extension and have the Bitmoji here. If you have the extension, you can actually just drag your Bitmoji over. This is kind of fun. Um, I learned this from Matt Miller the other day when we were talking about tech in the classroom and making comics. But if you go to insert and you add shape and you do a call out, you can actually do a think bubble. To type in it, you just double click. Type my annotation. And right here, I think I, I, I kind of like the comic uh, permanent marker. I like that font. It just looks more comic-y. And then for the bubble, I like to change it to white. It too looks a more comic-y to me. Yeah, of course, children have their own idea of what they like, and that's totally cool. From here, I noticed that the picture is just a little bit um, kind of white and I, I wanna make it just a little more contrast. So I, you can go to image options and change the brightness here. That might be a little bright. And then contrast kind of helps to make it a little more clear. I typically do that when I take the pictures. I'm, I'm really taking a really awesome picture the first time. And then I kind of wanna crop the side out uh, where my fingers are showing, so you can kind of squeeze it in a little bit. So there you have it, a book snap with Google Drawing. You could annotate, you could have the kids insert a text box, they could actually say something. I think I might put an arrow just to show you what, I, what I'm thinking when I'm reading this. I'm really focusing on that one quote. So I can insert shape, an arrow, and change the paint on the arrow here and the line width. Go to File, Download As. I find that the PNG works no matter what, JPEG or PNG. So I just download as PNG. From here you can show it in your finder, upload it to Google Classroom, upload it to Twitter, but there you have your image and you are ready to go. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, just another way for students to make book snaps that 
If you have Chromebooks or you have iPads, you probably have access to Google Drawing. If you do not, it works much the same in Google Slides. So I would love to see them. Please tag me at Tara Martin EDU on Twitter or share with me on Facebook or Instagram. I'd love to see your books now.